are watching a special broadcast of IPR department on news for hearing impaired. I am Manisha Nepal and with me today is sign language interpreter Vishal Biswakarma. In this special bulletin we present top stories of the week. Chief Minister Supreme Singh Tamang attended the inaugural session of the Northeast Food Show 2022 held at Polo Ground JN Stadium, Silong, in the presence of the Chief Minister of Meghalaya, Sri Conrad Sangma, Tourism Minister of Sikkim, Sri B.S. Pant, along with other dignitaries, officials and participants, marking the commencement of the three-day-long second edition of Northeast Food Show 2022. The food show was also attended by ambassadors and officials of various neighboring countries, besides officials from both the central government as well as the state government. Chief Minister Sri Prem Singh Tamang in his speech applauded the initiative taken by the central government for the development of the Northeast region under the dynamic leadership of the Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. He also thanked the Chief Minister of Meghalaya for the invitation and congratulated him for introducing this innovative yet highly enriching idea of mainstreaming food items from the Northeast region. The Chief Minister mentioned the Northeast region is now in the path of wider inclusion and mainstreaming and is witnessing an entirely new model of development, growth, peace and stability for the first time. The Northeast Food Show is actually a venture to globalize local food items supported with the right preparation, processing and packaging which require special human skills and appropriate technology to develop and distribute. Chief Minister of Sikkim recently launched unique schemes of Ama Yojana, Bahini Scheme and Vatsalya Scheme focusing on the welfare and to empower the women and adolescent girls of Sikkim also to ensure quality life to non-working Amas. It is a great initiation to improve the welfare of non-working mothers. A sum of Rs 100 crores has been allocated for it in the budget. Ama Scheme has been launched to inculcate the habit of savings among non-working mothers of Sikkim. The sum of Rs 20,000 will be directly transferred by the government into the bank accounts of non-working mothers. It is mainly implemented to help in securing the future of the mother at old age. Rs 20,000 will be given to the non-working mothers from the BPL category. The Bahini schemes aimed to provide 100% access to free and safe sanitary pads. Under the Bahini schemes, vending machines will be installed in 210 government schools of Sikkim to provide free sanitary pads. Also, incinerator will also be installed at the school to dispose pads. The schemes will cover 18,665 adolescent girls studying in government schools in Sikkim. Chief Minister Suprem Singh Tamang announced Vatsalya scheme to aid Rs 3 lakhs to childless mother for in vitro fertilization treatment. Expressing serious concern on declining fertility rate in Sikkim, on April 7th, Chief Minister announced the Vatsalya scheme for declining fertility rate of Sikkim in which he said, this scheme would cover those women in government jobs through health department and others under Chief Minister Medical Assistance. Financial assistance of 3 lakhs in two parts, first of 1 lakh and second of 2 lakhs shall be given for the IVF treatment. State Level Executive Committee on National Livestock Mission has its seventh session at Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Services Headquarter at Krasi Bhavan on 5th May 2022 under the chairmanship of Dr. P. Santal Kumar, Secretary Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Services. Secretary suggested all the sections of the department to explore projects under innovation category for all species under NLM for funding in the current financial year. Accordingly, the prime objective of the 7th SLEC was to set to explore new projects under innovation category under NLM for development, piggery, sheep, goat, poultry and other species in Sikkim. 
A 24 into 7 WhatsApp helpline has been set up in the Grand Cell of District Headquarters, Gelsing. Any complaint, grievances, disaster incidents, etc., can be sent via email or WhatsApp. The grievance shall be redressed within a specific period after verifying the matter from concerned section or department. Nodal officer for the grievance cell is Sri Gopal K. Chetri, SDM Headquarters. Email can be sent through email ID that is collectorwest at the rate gmail.com and stmhqgyj at the rate gmail.com and the WhatsApp number will be 76793839991. This much for today. We'll be back with the more updates. Keep watching e-news of IPR department. Thank you.